Be provoke. Dan Brown, he was provoke. Da Vinci Code, I'm quite sure you either saw the movie or read the book. He was a very um, provoke author because he started with a crime and crime grabs attention. It's um, emotional arousal what he started with and everyone was just looking at it. And he also had a great story which he led from A to Z. So he was constructing with provoke, details, stories, plots and with a crime like everyone almost starts. Let's see what we do in the second one. Thank you. Dan Brown, he constructed with a Me Too effect. He set up a child nobody ever heard of and he put it into a pretty familiar story everyone knows actually on earth. And um, he also put in a social aspect, the behavior from the 21st century, having a family, having children was his bridge to go all the way down to the time when they started counting, when Jesus ran around preaching and praying. So he added family and a child to a story where it was never mentioned. That was provoke. Cut. Dan Brown took that bridge from where he connected A to Z. And um, he added that social, that social development about family and um, connected the 21st century to the beginning of the first century actually when people started talking. He was so provoked that um, it became a plot that Jesus could have had a child and a family and someone who was going on and on with his blood. And that was very much an attention grabber for everyone. So it was a very good secret he kind of used for people to, to read and uh, watch his movies. And he also started with a secret. You know, when at the beginning he came with a religious circle, he added a secrecy to something nobody talks about or we never heard about. And that's a couple of aspects you gotta put into stories to create plots, to be provoke, have me too effects, have that bridge connection, put a secret in there. And um, yeah, next time I come up with a, something else for you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.